the soul of every success lies in hard work dedication and trust in yourself and your teachers a very fantastic morning to all the biometers commandos present here myself vivek kumar dubey i am a resident of Siddharth Nagar, Uttar Pradesh, the land of Lord Buddha. I have got 695 marks out of 720 in NEET 2020 with an All India rank of 166. The credit of my success goes to Almighty God, my hard work and dedication, my teachers and my parents. The special thanks goes to my teachers. Dr. Gitendra sir, Dr. Sanjay sir and engineer Amar Gekwar sir who provided me the path on which I can walk upon and get an entry into an adorable fort of success that is the medical college. I would like to express my gratitude to my mentors and team who provided me not only the study materials but also made me emotionally strong and they helped me to stand up again and fight for my goal whenever there was any emotional breakdown due to poor performance in tests so today i'll brief my need strategy with all of you i'll begin with biology in bio i scored 345 marks out of 360 so to be- begin with you have to watch lectures very carefully and uh, don't watch it like a entertaining channel okay you have to make the environment like that of an offline class and watch as if sir is standing in front of you and teaching so make short notes so and highlight the important points so that you can revise it whenever it is needed and uh, revise ncert multiple times वैसे तो सर आपको एन सी आर टी की लाइन टू लाइन आपको समझा देते हैं लेकिन फिर भी यू हैव टू रीड इट बाय योर सेल्फ एंड अंडरस्टैंड ईच एंड एवरी कंसेप्ट सॉल्व डी पी पीज एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू गिव टेस्ट आई विल नॉट रिकमेंड एनी रेफरेंस बुक फॉर थियरी और एम सी क्यूज वॉट एवर मेटीरियल सर इज प्रोवाइडिंग यू जस्ट डू इट ब्लाइंडली बिकॉज test and dbps itself cover a huge question bank that is 10 to 15000 questions it is so you will get a very huge question bank from that itself you will not need any other book so follow sir blindly and you can even score 360 out of 360 main nahi kar paya wo meri galti hai lekin agar aap sir ko properly follow karoge to aap 360 out of 360 bhi proper score kar sakte ho so now coming to physics In physics I scored 170 marks out of 180. In physics what you have to do is grab each and every concept very carefully whenever sir teach you. Koi bhi concept aapko chhodna nahi hai aap 1 ghante ke lecture ko 1.5 ghante mein suniye aap back karke fir se suniye lekin aapko concepts miss nahi karna hai. Write each and everything in your notes copy and highlight the important points what sir tells you. and uh, solve ample number of questions solve dpps test and i'll also recommend any one reference book you you must solve like uh, i solved universal self scorer and also you have to revise it don't be lazy in revising those questions you have to revise all the questions of test dpps and even the reference book i solved uses at least 3 times i properly revised it so you must also do it prepare a formula notebook in which you write the important points and all the formulas because in neat exam approximately 35 questions are directly formula based and you will not get time to think and rethink of formulas so revise it so that it be- it comes on your reflex and uh, you remember the formula spontaneously as the questions comes and this will happen by revision so along with the chapters you have to uh, write the formula on in formula notebook and uh, revise it before tests 
revise it every week uh, in these days and uh, when the exams will be coming near to you then you have to revise it more frequently so you will uh, remember all the formulas very well and that will help you in your exam you have to give a special focus on dpps and test because the direct questions from dpps and test will come in your exam hamare exam mein to data tak nahi change hua tha kuch questions aise the unka so you must revise them because they will be very very helpful for you in your exam so uh, it is the, even the data and the questions are not changed no new questions will be asked to you every uh, in for every question you will be very familiar with so now i am coming to chemistry so a very special thanks goes to sanjay sir i scored perfect 180 out of 180 in chemistry due to the hard work that i put in and uh, the way sir taught me so firstly i'll begin with organic chemistry because i think this is the most difficult topic of chemistry which uh, aspirants face so firstly in chemistry you have to begin with general organic chemistry because it is a basic mathematics of organic so in goc what you have to do is uh, watch the lectures very carefully read the reference book revise all the rules and regulations and orders like inductive effect metameric effect resonance instabilities and all the orders of nomenclature you have to remember like uh, preference orders also and uh, try to solve ample number of questions from dpps test and uh, if you have other question bank then you must solve that also for goc only because that will clear your concept and you will not face any further problem and uh, like i used to refer ms johan for general organic chemistry and when you will come to the main organic portion like aldehyde ketones acids here what you have to do is focus more on ncrt don't leave any named reactions orders properties do remember each and everything and revise it very frequently you have to also revise the notes that sir provides you but uh, more than 90% of the questions from core organic chemistry will be asked from directly from ncrt so you have to get more focus on that and revise it because it is very volatile even if you leave it for one week it will forget now coming to physical chemistry this is the easiest part of chemistry regarding neat exam because most of the question asked in neat are simple formula based questions so what you have to do is just watch the lectures carefully write your notes and write all the formulas chapter wise in a formula sheet and uh, revise it and solve the questions that are given in dvps and test and that would suffice you will not need any more practice from that because uh, that much question bank will suffice for that even if you re, uh, just learn the formulas you will be able to solve most of the questions of the neat paper now coming to inorganic chemistry this is the most volatile subject which we tend to forget so firstly you have to clear your concepts of periodic table and the chemical bonding here what you have to do is just when i teach you just uh, read and write all the notes very properly and solve ample number of questions from dpps also and from your reference books also because these are the concept clearing chapters if you are very clear with them then 50% of your work is already done and for rest of the chapters like s block p block d block so for these chapters what you have to do is just uh, read and reread ncrt very frequently before the exams read ncrt at least 20 to 25 times don't forget anything any reaction any specific point and even the use of compounds given in d block element at the end of the chapter that question was also asked in neat 2019 so you have to remember everything and one uh, coordination chemistry is the chapter that is very new to us 
सो यू हैव टू गिव स्पेशल फोकस टू दैट सर विल टीच यू इन इट इन डिटेल बट यू हैव यू हैव टू रेफर टू योर रेफरेंस बुक्स ऑल्सो बिकॉज इन लास्ट ईयर सम क्वेश्चन दैट वॉज आउट ऑफ बाउंड्री वॉज ऑल्सो आस्ट सो जस्ट रेफर योर रेफरेंस बुक्स एंड सॉल्व वराइटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन for that chapters so for that chapter you can refer to your reference books also and the dpps here are few key points that i would like to mention i felt uh, it during my preparation and i'm sure you will are also uh, going to that phase so you must know these points so just give up everything for your studies aapke paas khane padhne aur sone ke alawa koi aur kaam nahi hona chahiye and uh, you have got this year to write your own destiny god has given you this beautiful chance to write your destiny by your own hard work so don't miss it aur dusri cheez ye hai ki aap kabhi ye soch ke mat padhiyega ki exam aapka may mein hai isse kya hoga ki aapki efficiency maintain nahi hogi aur aapki consistency ka bhi loss hoga aap bore ho jaoge तो इसके लिए ये करना चाहिए कि आप हमेशा जो आपके वीकली टेस्ट होते हैं बायोमेंटर्स में आप उस पर फोकस कीजिए आपको हमेशा ये सोचना है कि जो भी आपका टेस्ट होने वाला है उसमें आपको टॉप टेन में आना है और हंड्रेड परसेंट स्कोर करना है आप उसके लिए पढ़िए इससे क्या होगा कि आपकी इफिशियंसी भी मेंटेन रहेगी और आप कंसिस्टेंट रहेंगे और ये सोच के पढ़िए कि वो टेस्ट ही नीट है क्योंकि आप जानते होंगे कि जब आपका नीट एग्जाम या कोई भी एग्जाम आने वाला होता है तो आप उसके 10-15 दिन पहले किस तरह किस लेवल पे पढ़ते हो तो आप सोच सकते हो कि अगर वो इफिशियंसी साल भर मेंटेन रहे तो आपकी परफॉर्मेंस कितना शूट अप कर जाएगी सो यू हैव टू थिंक ऑफ दैट ओके और टेस्ट को किसी भी तरह से निगेटिव वे में आपको नहीं लेना है अगर टेस्ट में आप थोड़ा बुरा परफॉर्मेंस आपका हो जाता है थोड़े मार्क्स कम हो जाते हैं तो डोंट गेट डिस अगले दिन से फिर से उठिए फिर से अच्छे से पढ़िए उस टेस्ट के मार्क्स और रैंक को भूल जाइए उस टेस्ट की एनालिसिस कीजिए और उसको एक क्वेश्चन बैंक की तरह रखिए अपनी मिस्टेक्स को एनालाइज करके फिर से आगे बढ़ जाइए दूसरे टेस्ट में अच्छा करने के लिए और अगर बहुत अच्छा आता है तो उस दिन को आप इंजॉय कीजिए और अगले दिन से फिर से अगले टेस्ट के लिए फोकस कीजिए किसी भी तरह से इसको नेगेटिव वे में मत लीजिए बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू मी द कोर्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ टेस्ट मैटर्स लॉट क्योंकि आपकी ये मार्क्स आपको कॉलेज नहीं देने वाले हैं आपका जो प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रेटजी होगा वो आपको रैंक दिलाएगा सो दैट्स वाई आई एम सेंग द कोर्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ टेस्ट मैटर्स अगर आप अच्छे से प्रिपेयर कर रहे हो तो दैट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू लॉट इन योर फाइनल एग्जाम so the fourth point that i see nowadays you must have trust on yourself and your teachers abhi bahut sare brands bahut sari coaching ho jane se bachcho ko bahut zyada doubt rehta hai ki kis teacher se padhna chahiye kahan padhna chahiye so dekhiye aapki preparation ke liye aapko kya chahiye you should have lectures you should have a question bank you must have regular tests for your analysis and doubt clarification these these are the absolute things which are required for you to get a good rank in any exam and biomentors is perfect in all these areas so according to me it's a perfect blend for your preparation or uh, fifth point is ki biomentors ke test mein aapko huge crowd aur huge competition dekhne ko milega aapko same marks pe kai sare log mila karenge test mein bhi to you can analyze your preparation and uh, you can all also predict what performance are you going to give on the final day so never ignore any test personally i never missed any test there were approximately more than 200 online test and i never missed a single one on in that and the last point is ki as sir always tells us that behave like a machine during your preparation डोंट फिल योर माइंड विथ इमोशंस आपको लोगों के कहने पर नहीं जाना है आपको सिर्फ अपनी पढ़ाई देखनी है एवरी वन विल टेल एवरी वन विल ट्राई टू डी मोटिवेट यू नो बडी वॉन्ट्स दैट यू गो अहेड ऑफ दैम ओके 
सो so, अभी जैसे मेरा ही केस ले लीजिए तो रिजल्ट आने से पहले हर कोई मेरी प्रिपरेशन को बहुत लाइटली लेता था कि ऑनलाइन से कैसे होगा बिकॉज पीपल ट्राई टू गो विथ ब्रांड्स बट वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू गो विद योर हार्ड वर्क यू हैव टू गो विद योर स्टडीज सो नेवर लुक अपॉन एनी वन एंड डोंट ट्राई टू गेट देयर व्यूज ऑन योर प्रिपरेशन ओके यू जस्ट हैव टू ट्रस्ट ऑन योर सेल्फ वर्क हार्ड एंड यू विल गेट थ्रू इट यू विल गेट अ वेरी गुड रैंक सो ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर दिस रोलर कॉस्टर जर्नी ऑफ प्री मेडिकल एग्जाम इट विल बी अमेजिंग विथ बायो मेंटर्स एंड यू विल बी ब्लेस्ड विथ अ वेरी गुड रैंक वी आर ऑलवेज विथ यू टू हेल्प यू आउट फॉर ईच एंड एवरी प्रॉब्लम एंड आई गाइड यू we all will guide you in fact for the entire preparation and uh, feel free to ask any doubt in the comment section if you have i'll try to answer all of them so all the best for your preparation